Hi, I'm Chickadee or Chick of Chick of All Trades, and this is the newbie booktube tag. So if you're unfamiliar with this, basically there's just some questions that I will answer, and then I will give you a little bit of a tour of the bookcase behind me. Why did you start this channel? Before anything else, I think it's important to say that this channel isn't only booktube and certainly didn't start that way. This is going to be a catch-all for all of my creative type content. So originally this channel was created for TTRPG stuff, um, mainly D&D, but dabbling in some other things. Um, both actual plays as well as brainstorming sessions and a smidgen of educational content, which is what I wanted to do originally, and it just never seemed to work out. I wrote a lot of scripts. I even did some recording, but sitting down to edit it, unlike other videos I've done, just didn't feel... Right, I don't know, I wasn't as motivated to create it. Um, but adding in Booktube and some other creative endeavors specifically as to why this now exists, I think the catalyst was going back to school for professional writing. What are some fun and unique things you bring to Booktube? Fun and unique? I feel like I covered it, but it won't be just Booktube. Uh, so having a variety of things on the channel, I think, adds a fun uniqueness to the channel itself. But, like, specifying that right back down to Booktube, um, I think, again, I mentioned before, but I think being a student of writing. Not only does this bring a certain part of knowledge and focus to the channel, being that I am constantly thinking about writing already, but I will be adding a lot of writing elements kind of adjacent to the reading elements of Booktube. Plus, I hope my skip script writing will be okay at the very least and will improve both doing it both doing it for the channel, but also just with the more that I learn about how to write well. What are you most excited for about this channel? The same thing I've always been excited for when it comes to these online creative endeavors. The community. I'm excited to share this part of my interests with everybody who's already here, whether it be here, TikTok, or Twitch. Um, but then also just bringing in even more people into this community and joining a whole new community of, from at least what I've seen as a, a viewer, a lot of really cool and nice people. Why do you love reading? Where to begin? The answer that everyone is expecting and wouldn't be a lie, of course, is escapism. But I honestly just love words. I like analyzing and critiquing various mediums and writing is one of those, as well as film and TV. Um, I don't have nearly as much knowledge about those, but I still like to do it. Um, and I like to consume different stories in different ways and for different reasons. So sometimes it is just for the mindless pleasure or that escapism. Um, but sometimes I garner more pleasure from reading between the lines or just enjoying the art that is word and story crafting. Sometimes it's about just enjoying the story, being there along the way, being immersed. Um, and sometimes it's about the craft itself. Um, it's about uh, admiring what other writers have been able to do with their words and taking inspiration from my own writing. What book series got you into reading? You expect me to remember decades ago? Uh, I barely remember this morning or last week. Um, I think I liked a lot of books as a young one. Um, I definitely read, like, a lot of picture books and a lot of small novels. Um, but some of the first series I remember are... Uh, I meant to look this up before I started recording. Um, there was a U unicorn series, which I feel like I maybe have right here. So some of the first series I remember are, I'm not sure what this series is actually called, but it's about unicorns. Um, and I definitely remember spending a lot of time reading this. I don't think I actually ever finished it. In fact, I don't think I've read this one. I think this is the last book I picked up and I never finished it. Um, other titles in the collection include Wish Upon a Unicorn, The Shadow Unicorn, The Land Without Unicorns, The Promise of the Unicorn, 
Um, they're all by Vicky Bloom, Vicky Blum. Um, and then another one that I definitely remember as well is are these. Uh, I think I only ever read the first one, but I remember really enjoying it. Um, are these Rowan of Rin adventures? And then the Belgariad, uh, that's a little bit later in my reading for sure. I think the Unicorn and the Wren series were like age 8 to 10-ish. Um, the Belgariad, I think, is more like age 12. I was definitely reading before those times, but um, I don't really remember what I was reading. I, I know that I had like some Goosebumps books um, and like Full House books, Sabrina the Teenage Witch books. I don't remember them particularly well, so I do th I do feel like getting into reading was this unicorn book uh, series. I do like that's the one that stands out as being the first one. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, I'm really bad at answering questions like this. I'm much better at answering questions than asking them, especially just kind of like without any context. But I think I would probably ask. What is the favorite, like, what is your favorite series or video that you've ever done and why did you enjoy it? What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So because this isn't like my first YouTube foray or online content foray, um, I don't think that I'm going to have the same sort of obstacles, but I think I'm going to have a consistent obstacle in being consistent. Um, this is something that, as creators, we're told we absolutely have to be consistent, and, and then we also get the, like, quality over quantity, but also quantity is important, so um, that's always this struggle of making sure that you're putting out content often enough that people don't forget about you, but also taking care of yourself, so I think that's gonna, like, I think that's just a consistent problem across the board. And of course, it is important to take care of yourself, and sometimes I fall behind for various life reasons, whether that is work and school, or holidays, or mental, physical health. There's lots of reasons why somebody might not be consistent, and I just hope that the people that do enjoy are willing to um, remember that I'm human. When did you start reading? Uh, so I don't remember a time that I didn't read. I think I covered this a little bit in like what got me into reading, but that that's like the answer to it is I, I started reading when I was able to read. Um, I think even before that you can consider me listening to books on tape as reading. Uh, following along in my book when it goes ding, despite the fact that I had no idea what the words were actually saying. So. For those of you who didn't know, audiobooks have been around for a long time. <laughs> Where do you read? Uh, right now, most of my reading happens at home. Uh, for a while, I was reading in bed uh, pretty much every night before I went to sleep. I don't do that now so much, especially with taking up annotating as a hobby, which I am really enjoying. It does make the like before sleep reading a lot more difficult, um, especially with my cat's routine. Uh, which had been, you know, like I'm reading, the cat crawls up, stops me from reading with a bunch of like uh, tabs and markers and things around. That, does, that doesn't sound like a great time for me. Um, I don't have a long commute anymore, so reading on a commute isn't really an option. Um, and even then, if I do like pick up a job uh, that has a long commute, but I am so far behind on my podcast that I don't think audiobooks is the right call. Um, which is what I would likely do on a long commute to not get motion sickness. Um, sometimes I can read on a bus, sometimes I can't, and it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, so I generally opt for podcasts, um, and I don't want to take out podcasts to add in audiobooks. What kind of books do you like to read? Uh, I don't have a type. Um, <laughs> I like to try new stuff. Um, a lot of the books that I have read have been fantasy uh, but that's more because that's what was available to me, um, and then uh, it was easier to just continue reading fantasy. If I were to look at the other books that I've read, I've read, you know, a bunch of fantasy, and then I went to school, um, like university, and it was a bunch of classics. Um, and now that I'm back to reading again, uh, 
I'm hoping to branch out further. So really, this is going to be about my writing and reading journey. It's going to be me checking out new types of books, new genres, different lengths, new authors, old authors that I haven't tried yet, and genres that I haven't tried yet. What does your book collection look like? This top shelf is mostly literary fiction. I think there might be a few other things thrown in there, uh, mostly because this is also where I have all of the novels that I supposedly read while I was in university. Uh, the second shelf is what I'm calling teenage chick lit. Uh, it's basically like supernatural um, fantasy, lots of vampires and things like that. This shelf is a weird one. On the right side, you will see an astronomy book, a Bible, and then a bunch of tarot and witchcraft books. Um, on the other side is uh, TTRPG stuff and then a fairy tales book. I don't know why the fairy tales book is on this shelf, but it is right now. This next shelf is fantasy and sci-fi. What's really interesting is a lot of these books uh, are actually from my dad um, or they are books that my dad read that we had to get new copies of. On this last kind of barren shelf right now, we have graphic novels. And then we have my most recently two acquired books and a heck ton of anthologies. Finally, we just have some books that were behind books. The first section is behind the fantasy and sci-fi, and the second one is behind the teenage chick lit. I hope you guys had fun. I had a blast. Catch you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out this video by Chick of All Trades. Don't forget, if you enjoyed, to like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to come check us out live on Twitch.